Yet, uh, what was your ambition when, when you started this project? Uh, the ambition was to make the most out of the most common plans that are made in, uh, by surveyors in Sweden. And they usually stipulate a two-story building with a pitched roof. Uh, it could be just one story building with a pitched roof. So we tried to maximize what we could get with that sort of um, footprint and the section. And so the building is rather square, allowing for a small perimeter in order to not uh, have the heat uh, loss too big. And then it's characterized by being in black and white, taking the cue of the black from the solar panels, which are in the southern face of the building and on top of the pitched roof. And in contrast, there is an entry porch in white. And we also shade basically the windows, which are the most vulnerable parts of the elevations with these black boxes, which adds to nice graphic design. I think it's, uh, it's a bit like uh, eye shades on a pretty woman. You are very satisfied with, uh, with the result. Yeah, I think it's quite, uh, it's within the Swedish tradition. Uh, it's a painted building with pitched roof and uh, still it's a modern, absolutely modern looking piece. Try to explain why this is a, uh, a house of the future. Uh, because this uh, will not take any energy, it will give energy into uh, the input of the network system and uh, you can load your car, your electric car in it. And uh, I think it will appeal to quite a lot of people. It's like the little red cottage that we Swedes love so much. You always use cubes. Yeah, I think uh, cubistic design is quite interesting and, and to add it to the pitched roof, it, it makes for a nice contrast. And I like also to use the contrast between black and white, so yeah. It's kind of a signature. How unique is this house? But I haven't seen any pitched houses with an entire uh, front elevation made out of solar panels as yet. So I think that's, that's quite unique for the design. And it also takes back the cues of the veranda and the front porch, which is semi-climatized, uh, which is also typical for Swedish tradition and quite flexible.